Ladies and gentlemen, it's time to hear the girls say... Here are some great master servant anime with romance. Let's go. Number 10, Clockwork Planet. From the name itself, you could tell this one involves lots and lots of clocks. Clockwork Planet happens in a world where a clock master named Y created a new world with cogs and gears. In the present time, a guy named Naoto Miura wants to be someone like him. But before his dreams could come true, a female automation named Reyuzu lands right on his doorstep. The two soon realize the world that is made of cogs and gears is about to fall apart and there's only one way to fix it. This is one of those shows that dwells on the fantasy and sci-fi elements rather than the romance, but don't worry, stop crying. There is some good human automation romance as well. And even though it sounded weird, it's not so weird once you start watching it. Number 9, They Are My Noble Masters. Huh? Yep, this is those no money so gotta be the servant to someone type of romance anime. Our main character and his sister leave their home because of a family trouble but find out that you need money to survive in this world. I know, these two are geniuses. So they decide to work for the three sisters of the Kunoji family and it turns out that that isn't as great as they thought. <laughs> Now, even though this is labeled as an ecchi anime, this isn't ecchi at all. But since this is based on a visual novel, you get tons of romance, plus some good old maid, butler, master, servant relationship. Sure, it might not have any deeper meaning or something like that, but come on, people. Just watch an anime for entertainments just once. Number 8, Rosen Maiden. <laughs> Back in the day, I used to confuse this with Gosik. I mean, who doesn't? The main girls look exactly the same, and here we have a main character like every one of you. He purchases things online and sends them back before the trial period ends. Oh wait, you guys just pirate the stuff. Well, anyways, uh, one day he gets a doll as a gift. And this isn't a normal doll. This one can walk and talk like an actual human being. How innovative is that? <laughs> Turns out this girl is one of the five dolls of the Rosen Maiden collection, and these dolls are meant to kill each other. Nope, this isn't a tragic anime, so don't gather your tissue boxes. This anime has the tag comedy labeled right in front of it, so go watch this anime if you want a funny master doll relationship. Number 7, Machine Dollwa. <laughs> Yes, I purposefully introduced two anime with dolls one after the other just to confuse you people. Here we have the country's genius army deciding to make dolls to fight wars. And this time the doll's name isn't Violet Evergarden. So don't worry, no need for tissue boxes for this one either. <laughs> Raishin Akabane and his humanoid automation, Yaya, are people who have great skill in both offense and defense, but once they enter the school, they find that they have fallen into the lowest rank. Now he takes part in the evening party, a battle royale where the puppeteers and their machine dolls fight to gain the top Wiseman position. <laughs> Similar to other battle game anime, this one involves tons of strategy and fighting, but similar to Rose and Maiden, we've got some romance as well. Number 6, Princess Resurrection. Alright, enough with the dolls, let's move on to the princesses. And here, we have a guy who became a servant just because he couldn't keep his desires in check. One day, he sees a girl about to die and thinks, Hey, so she's beautiful, I'll be sad if she dies. And then saves her. And turns out, she's a princess, and he decides to reward the boy by making the poor guy her servant. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, did I mention the princess is the daughter of the king of monsters? If you stop questioning how biology works in anime, then you'll see this is a very interesting premise. When was the last time you saw a guy serving a monster princess? If you need zombies, vampires, and some really weird monsters like were sharks, pandas, and uh, uh, killer dumplings, then this is the show for you. And yeah, there's some good romance here as well. Number five, Princess Lover. Once again, we have another show with princesses in it. I spoke about this in the video about the princesses falling in love with the commoner as well, but since we're mainly speaking about master and servant relationship, we need to speak about this girl who looks like Saber and this guy who owns his grandfather's property. What? <laughs> The story happens when young Tepi gets all his grandfather's property and should mingle with the nobility after he gets enrolled in a school for nobles. That's all great, but he soon realizes he also has an arranged marriage to a girl named Sylvia. And let's just say Sylvia doesn't know how to give a good first impression. <laughs> There is also a spin-off series to Princess Lover, which is, uh, questionable. <laughs> so, uh, make sure you choose the right series before you start watching this. Number four, the comic artist and his assistants. <laughs> Here we have a pervert who is also a manga artist. And even though he was a really weird personality, there are lots of girls around him. Actually, all of them are his assistants, but once you see the tags of this anime, you know where this is going. This isn't entirely a romance anime since it focuses on its comedy aspects a lot. The episodes show daily lives of these characters and different situations they're thrown into. You know, like Lucky Star and Nichoju. And this means you get the good old beach episodes, hot spring episodes, and the episode where the girl is sick, and all those good old comedy tropes. The characters are also really enjoyable, but sometimes the main character's personality can get a bit too annoying. Number 3, Inu X Boku SS. <laughs> Normally, it's the girl who comes to the boy and says, Hey, become my servant. But this time, the guy comes to the girl and decides to become her bodyguard. Inu X Boku SS follows a sheltered daughter of a wealthy family named Ririchio Shirakin, and Riri wants to live on her own. So, she moves into a high-security apartment complex where she finds out that her neighbors, as well as herself, are all half-demons. Now it's time to get a bodyguard. And even though Riri doesn't ask for one, she finds herself served by Soshi Maketsukami, a guy who transforms into a demon if anyone touches the girl he likes. The anime also gives the two main characters tons of character development. Both the main characters have their flaws, and you can see them correcting their flaws as they move forward in the story. Number two, Hayate the Combat Butler. This is once again one of those anime you can guess from the title. And that's right, genius. This is about a butler named Hayate. And guess what? The guy's really good at combat. So why does he become a butler? Well, turns out his parents had a ton of debt, so they decided to leave the debt to their son and run away. Yeah, I know, worst parenting ever. But guess what? There is a Sundre lolly to save our main character from depression. <laughs> Like I've said in many other videos, remember Hayate has a ton of filler episodes? I mean, half of the first season is completely filler, so make sure to watch only the episodes adapted from the manga. Overall, it's a really great romance show with an overprotective guy becoming the butler of an annoying Sundre. Number one, Kamisama Kiss. <laughs> Takami no Kenbutsu ni na!
And to finish off our list, we have Kamisama Kiss. Because what's better romance than the love between deities and spirits? Kamisama Kiss starts when Nanami Momozano is kicked out of her house after her father spends all his money on gambling. Luckily, a man named Mikage offers her to stay at his house as she saves him from a dog, and Nanami agrees but soon learns Mikage used to be the Earth deity and now has awarded the position to her. She meets Tomo, Mikage's familiar, and and learns that he is your good old bad boy who loves to pull some pranks. The most interesting part in this series is the relationship between Nanami and Tomo. It's a fun, strange, and also pretty amusing one. For a romance anime, this ticks all the boxes, and if you want some master-servant love drama, then don't forget to add this to your watch list. 